Good evening. I'm just finishing up some examples here of the code for the class kit for the Seattle Robotics Society Surface Month class in the February meeting, 2012. Um, this is just showing the monochrome OLED doing some stuff that it can do. Just got this working tonight with some old code that I'd used for a different project, so the graphics will be a little weird, and they don't the text isn't updating or anything, but should show you some of its capabilities. It's going to be a little slow to update on here because I haven't implemented any of the hardware timers in this code. It's just using the some software timers. So we're going to let that run real quick. So you can see there the 16 shades of gray make some pretty detailed looking images. And of course the Seattle Robotics logo. While that comes in we can try to focus in here on that so you can see what it can do. Oh, that's it fading out. Well, while, we're, while we're at the zoom, we can show you what some text looks like. Obviously, my timer's not running, so the clock's not running. And my analog to digital is goofy and not reading anything, and a lot of stuff in there that just doesn't do anything. Let's go ahead and restart that so you can look at that image. So there you can see the 16 shades of gray pretty well on from a converted bitmap. So it makes some for some pretty slick looking icons and graphics. Get back far enough. I'm using a kind of a weird lens here on this camera for video. So you have to excuse all the out of focusness. So from a distance you can see what that looks like. Again, this is 128 by 64 pixels, 4 bits per pixel. So it allows you to write 2 pixels per byte of, on the SPI bus. And just in case you want to see some more of the bore, we can stand up here and... So there's the SPI, standard SPI in-circuit programmer header, the reset button, and a spare button that's tied to the bootloader pin using the default Atmel bootloaders there. And you can see the piezo crystal there, speaker crystal there too. There's some user LEDs. Most of these are defined for use with the, when you're using the Arduino Leonardo code. Um, the, the, op, the other header there is for the color OLED. And there's some LEDs over there to show the state of all the power supplies. See the USB header and the 3 volt regulator there for the OLED. The microprocessor itself is that, and they go 32U4, and that's just buried underneath this screen. And that's the JTAG header for the JTAG ICE pro programmer developer. And I guess that's all I have to say for tonight. Hopefully we'll get some kits and have a lot of people know the solder. I should say that this is a 18, mil 18 pin, half millimeter pitch connector. If you come to the class in February, you should be able to learn how to solder this without a problem. Ah, there we go. Let's see it. Okay. Have a good evening, folks. I'm out. And on to the next thing to get working.